If America's so bad, would you guys accept an all-expense-paid all permanent trip to a socialist country of your choice? Okay, Venezuela or Cuba, which yes, one? Absolutely. Uh, let's do Venezuela. Okay. Yeah, that's a hot topic right Great. Now. Okay, so average Venezuelans lost 17 pounds. They're eating zoo animals. They got no Wi-Fi, cell service, no political freedom, and they're on the ver you know, brink of civil war. Does that sound like a good country to you? Yeah, I would love to join the fight. Yeah. Sure. The fight for. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kirk runs knife left his students. Okay. Uh, I call him Charlie Kirk. We call him kicking ass. Let's get right to today's video. These are socialists, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. can you tell me how's it going in Venezuela, I'm Cuba, really, or any of the? I'm really not interested in this conversation. Well, you're you're you're, you're handing out propaganda about me, so we can have a conversation on public space about it, however we wish. So. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna have a conversation. Can I see your poster? That's that's nice. That's really good. That's good. So uh, so I do have a question. Why is it that uh, socialism has resulted in the death of 100 million people over the last 100 years after it's been tried 100 times? Would that be a good record of success? Um, that's a good question. It's like one I hear every other day when I tell people I'm a socialist. So then you should have a pretty good answer then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I should. But, yeah. what, what is your answer? Um, well, honestly, I think that most socialist experiments, whether it be like the Soviet Union, like following the Bolshevik Revolution, or in Cuba, following the Cuban Revolution, I think a lot of like what has happened there, like people point to famine and exiles and so forth, like these are products of like imperialist interventions and embargoes from other capitalist nation states. So who embargoed the Soviet Union? Um, I... Because the Soviet Union was an imperialist nation. Yes, yes. yes. So it was the opposite. The Soviet Union yes. tried to spread communism to Zimbabwe, India, Afghanistan, yes. Pakistan, yes. Korean Peninsula, yes. Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. So they were the imperialists. Yeah, yeah. Well, so was the United States. Well, I'm not, not arguing against our foreign policy, but yes. I'm saying yes. who, who, who was embargoing the Soviet Union? Well, the famine in the Soviet Union was mostly caused by environmental factors, although the Holodomor was definitely the fault of Stalin for misdistributing resources. Do you think Lenin was a good guy? Yes. You think Lenin was a good guy? Yeah, absolutely. So the million people he killed was like a rounding error? He killed millions of people. He killed one million people. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I would I'd like to see proof of that, but yeah, sure. Well, you could read the Gulag Archipelago and first-hand accounts of the mass extermination that Lenin okay. put in, in yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see, because this happened under Lenin, Lenin and then Stalin, so, sure. Do you know how many people die every year because of starvation caused by global capitalism? And no, actually, starvation rates have gone down to the lowest level ever. Global poverty has reached below 10% for the first time ever. More kids are in school. Vi violent crime is dissipating. We have an obesity problem, not a starvation problem in America. More kids are able to get the nutrition they need. Life expectancy has gone up dramatically. Life expectancy in year 1900 was 45. Now it's 80 in America for women and 78 for men. So the world's a better place thanks to freedom of markets. Poverty is, is disappearing and diminishing thanks to thanks to people being able to make choices they see fit. And neoliberalism has worked out so well for Chile, as you can see. Actually, Chile is the richest per capita country in the South America, unlike Venezuela. And the most unequal country in Venezuela. No, it's most socially mobile, actually. So let's talk, about, let's talk about South America, Venezuela, and Argentina. Is Venezuela a good example of your ideology? No, um, no, no. I'm, is the United States a good example of your ideology? Better than Venezuela. Sure, we're the richest, most benevolent, most creative, generous country ever to exist. So I have a question. If America's so bad, would you guys accept an all-expense-paid all permanent trip to a socialist country of your choice? Okay, Venezuela or Cuba, which yes, one? Absolutely. Uh, let's do Venezuela. Okay. Yeah, that's a hot topic, right? Great. Okay, so average Venezuelans lost 17 pounds. They're eating zoo animals. They got no Wi-Fi, cell service, no political freedom, and they're on the ver you know, brink of civil war. Does that sound like a good country to you? Yeah, I would love to join the fight. Yeah, sure. The fight for. For socialism. Oh, okay. Because they're already <laughs> socialist. Yeah. Just making for a revolutionary workers' party. A revolutionary. So isn't that what Venezuela has? Oh, I mean, no. Oh, so what is Maduro then? Oh, Maduro is what he is. Well, I think we'd probably agree on that. But he's also a Marxist. Hmm. That hmm, I doubt that. Okay. Well, he believes in universal health care. You guys believe in that? Na nationalization of fossil fuels. He did that. Can I ask you what, Confiscating the what guns. Your, what, like what your beliefs are as like a conservative? Sure, I believe that free markets and free people have made the world a significantly better place. True. And that we live in the greatest country ever to exist in the history of the world, and the Constitution is the greatest political document ever written. Socialism is the main narrative to get everyone to have um, equal rights for resources and wealth in their country. It's just that it's, it's just not possible. If you think about it, it's just not possible. We can all not have the equal rights to have the same resources or wealth because we human beings as a whole, we are selfish beings. 
I keep on saying that we are selfish beings because we, you see, when when we feel like that equal rights, um, we all have equal. Someone wants to be higher. Someone wants to have six times more than what another person has. Someone wants to have eight times more than what on the other per- second person have. So it's it's just how a person. So socialism itself can never thrive. I keep on saying that it can never thrive. It can just start. It's a fall. It's it never thrives, and you 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 notice it starts. Ever since socialism started. It's it's never grows higher. Like we all want people to have um, happiness. This person is okay. This person is okay. We are equal, but it it never happens that way. Humans, we are selfish. We are greedy. We are we are all for our own self, not for the other person. So socialism as a whole, guys, having the same wealth and resources with everybody, it's it's really it really works. Charlie was telling him, Venezuela or Cuba, which one are you going to pick? I said Venezuela. Venezuela, okay, they have no Wi-Fi. They eat zoo animals and they are during the break of civil war. The, the socialist students were still assisting on Venezuela. It's I, I see him as a naive person. He's very naive. He really doesn't know what he's talking about, and he he's not getting the clear picture of this socialism or socialist he's supporting. Uh, I, I see him like that because if if you come to think about it, you know that. If you truly believe in the socialism or socialist you are, you are you you are fighting for, you should start living like one. You should not be using the free Wi-Fi in the school. You should not even be in the school system at all. You should just go to a farm, start your own lifestyle, and be living equal to self. So it's 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 funny how I see people coming out and talking about socialism. It, like it's 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 hardly it never works. <laughs> no, I want to say hardly works, but it never works. So she just move on. The, the capitalism we're using, it's it's working for everyone, and it's perfect. The system is working, though it's not too effective. But at the same time, it's way better, and we are seeing positive results. So comment down below. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I'm back wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that dump, dump shaker, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all